I asked Hearthstone content creator Raran for his opinion on some of the new Runeterra cards from the Darken Saga. I don't know about Baltux. He's probably okay. Sometimes it's going to be great. <laughs> this is a one star Thanks. card. Shut the f Don't forget to like the video and let me know what you think in the comments. Enjoy. Okay, two minute one one. You may spend five mana to play me as Jorel. Okay, I'm going to go with that. That sounds correct. Five mana four, three. It has the hook thing. So, challenger, your opponent's spells cost two more while I'm attacking. Whoa! Uh, that's a cool effect. Well, I'm attacking really interesting. I mean, the Jarrell effect probably is not that great. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's too weak. Yeah, maybe like you get it. Maybe their opponent's spells are two more while you're attacking. But when you're done attacking, it's like, OK, like five minute four or three. Uh, it's not that great. Uh -huh. It's probably better stuff you can do. The weapon's probably fine, though. I feel like the weapon's good. How do you rate these, fan? Do you want me to rate the weapon on its own? Or like the... I mean, they're one card. They're one card you put in your deck. So, you know, it's the whole package. OK, I'd give it like. <laughs> I think the Jarel thing is like so overrated. I have a feeling you put this in to see if I would get baited by this, but maybe I'm, dude, see, then, then it comes down to just me getting mind game to myself. Am uh -huh. I getting baited or not? <laughs> oh, I mean, we talked my. about Aatrox too, right? Aatrox can play any weapon. And if this Darken Aegis, I, I always pronounce the Darken Eggs, if that's equipped on a unit, eggs. it transforms into Jiral too. So, yeah. All right, Jiral I think is not that great, but maybe at some point if you have no no minion to play it on, or no follower, I should say, my apologies. Uh, if you have no follower to play it on, maybe just getting the minion is fine. So it's like a good backup. The weapon's probably great. One less, you take one less damage. I, I mean, it's probably like a three, maybe a four. Final answer? I, God, don't say that like that. Let's let's go. Let's go. Can I can I be a little cheeky and go with a three point five? Uh, no. That's illegal. Oh, <laughs> that's illegal. All right, I'll go with a four. Four. I'll go with a four. Okay, okay. I, I mean, I, I'm I'm underrating Jarrell because I don't think it's actually that mandatory. Like, you probably don't want to play it like that, but it's not like it's bad to have, right? It's like. You mm -hmm. don't have a dude, like at least you could do something with this card. Yeah. It's not a dead draw necessarily. So I'd give it a four. Okay. Uh this is by far the best weapon in the game. It's not even close. So it's a five or is it a four? It's a five. It's it's Shut it's, up! If there was higher than a five, it would be that. And it's simply because the Masha has a lot of challengers. They really care about their units. So the fact you could pay two mana to give plus one plus one and tough to something that can challenge, to something that has like a, a scout, like Quinn, for example, making Quinn more durable so she can actually get those attacks off is insane. Interesting. See, I didn't even look at the region. I just, I just, yeah, you know, whatever. I also, Demacia in 2022, potentially 2023, depending on when you're watching this. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Let's yeah, do who it. does that? Who does that? <laughs> what a region. That's a cringe region, isn't it? Right? True. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. I, I'm going to read it this time. Freljord, two mana, zero plus two. Okay, so you get two health. Attack, grant the top two allies in your deck plus one plus one. You may spend eight mana. You play me as, dude, what are these names? Anaka? That's the best part. I just wanted to hear you pronounce the names. That's the only reason we're doing this video dude, right I'm now. I'm not gonna lie, this guy's hard. All right, this guy's hard. The last guy, not as hard. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy looks sick. I just wanna hear you pronounce the names, dude. <laughs> Yeah, wait until you see the next one. Yeah, go on. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> you should have seen me trying to guess Yu Gi Oh cards. I almost threw up. I was saying half of them. Uh, eight mana, six, eight. Attack from, from the top six cards of your deck. Summon an attacking follower or non champion Darken and grant it plus one, plus one. Hold on. From the top six of your deck, summon an attacking follower. Okay, you're going to have to explain how this works. So, if I, when I attack, I summon mm -hmm. minions from the top six cards of my deck. It's, it so, takes one. So if there is any follower or a weapon, if there is a weapon like the the dark and eggs, it will just summon Jural attacking. But if there's any other follower, it will just pull it out of your deck, give it plus one plus one, and it will attack with Anika. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, just so I'm clear, by the way, when when a minion dies with the equipment, the equipment goes back in your hand, right? Yes, that's why it's so good, because you play the weapons early game, your unit eventually dies. That's usually a few turns later, and sometimes you have enough mana to just summon a dark in instead then. Okay, so I'm going to just, let's just backtrack here. You can do the, the rewind effect what you said to me the last one is the best weapon in the game this is by far the best weapon in the game unless that was the hardest bait in the world uh this one's a little slow but it's a game winner it's i mean if this thing gets to attack i'm pretty sure you're fucking dead with the annika here ah uh, i mean okay again i'm, I'm yeah, you're tricking me uh it's it's a four it's a four it's a four is it all right i'm writing down four right now right, right. <laughs> i was being cheeky four. with this one i would have given it a two and a half but i think it's a three it's uh this is a three star card i um, mean how much there's not really a big difference between three and four so it's a four <laughs> 
<laughs> Only like 20% difference, but yeah. Freljord is a really, really, really bad region and it's been bad forever. So you don't even really get to play this in Freljord decks because if you're playing Freljord, it's used for like really specific cards and not for like, you know, really kind of niche effects because not everybody cares about buffing your units. In Aatrox decks, who gets access to all of those weapons, this is usually like a one or two off. It plays like three copies of the three best weapons and it's like, oh, well, just to make sure I have enough weapons, I'll put in one or two Darkened Spear. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, see, I think uh, I think the problem with this is I haven't gotten a Freljord in a very long time. I haven't taken a trip, so. Yeah, it's cold. Yeah. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't sure what kind of deck they were building. You know, I feel like this is unfair because I have no idea what kind of decks these go into. Let me ask you a question. If this card is played and you attack with it, yeah. uh, it just wins you the game. Annika? Mm, yeah, often it does. But the only way I've ever seen Annika played was from Aatrox using World Ender. And when that happens, you know, there's so much going on that Annika is just like, okay, I guess this card also loses me the game. So it's like a win more card in a sense. But the yeah. weapon's good. Okay, interesting. Okay, yeah. okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, so this is the one I was excited about you pronouncing. The Darkened Staff. I already <laughs> see what the next card's called. Strike, refill one spell mana. You may spend eight mana to play me as ball cucks. <laughs> I'm five years old. A mana seven nine. <laughs> when you spend spell mana, grant me impact for each spell mana you spend. Oh shit! First of all, great art. What a great name. When you spend <laughs> spell mana, grant me. So okay, this card reminds me of the last one where it's like, yeah, this card is sick. But like, how often is Ball Cucks gonna actually like do anything better than what you probably have in your deck? So it really comes down to, in my opinion, the weapon. And the weapon's pretty great, isn't it? In theory, it's like a one mana one zero, and you get to refresh one spell mana, which is if you attack at least three times you get three so if it pays for itself you're just basically putting this as a card in your deck i mean this is probably good it's probably like a four i don't know about ball cucks he's probably okay sometimes it's gonna be great but i would give this a four <laughs> this is a one star card this is really Shut really really bad <laughs> Yeah, you're paying one mana to give a unit plus zero plus zero. So it's only good if you put on like an elusive that can actually get the strike. And if you do strike, yeah, it pays for itself. It deals one damage. If you play this on like a three mana unit, for example, you basically pay four mana for that unit and then your opponent removes it. You have to re-equip it. It's it's just like a net loss and there's just better cards to play. Okay, so in Hearthstone, let's just imagine this card said refill one mana, right? Mm-hmm. Would I pay one mana to have a card that on a minion that could potentially refill one mana and get a bonus? Yeah, I mean, that's not the worst thing I've ever seen. But when you put it like that, it makes me feel like an idiot. So, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> whatever, dude, it's fine. Dude, F for ball cucks, bro. This guy's really out here trying, <laughs> dude. Wow. I mean, I don't know. What it's like a Joe Mama joke, like, right? He's just trying to demonetize Rune Terror channels by letting us pronounce that name. It's good, it's bad, because if I had to see this card all the time, I think I'd be in trouble with YouTube. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get in trouble for saying ball. But actually, maybe you're. Hold on. Am I gonna get banned? <laughs> no, you're, it's on your channel. We're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling. <laughs> yeah, true. You're saying it on my channel. That's fine. <laughs> oh my god. The Darken Harp. Two mana plus two zero. Uh, this has quick attack. You may spend eight mana to play me at. Oh my god. <laughs> Stray two? So two? Uh, Stray two. two. It's true. Yeah, that sounds Whatever. better. Yeah. This guy also looks. Dude, all these guys look sick. Eight mana 80. I don't know what region this is. What is this? Filter over and Zon. Wait, from the Hit Show Arcade? Okay, sorry. <laughs> Do people still do that in your chat? I don't know. If yes, okay, all cool, the time. Okay. There's a card called Rite of Arcane, and every single time that <gasps> card gets played, there's bad chests in my chat. Bad chest, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, attack, draw two, then reduce those cards by two. You may spend. So this is a two mana for plus two attack. All right, I don't know about the last guy though. The, the, the Dominion, probably not that great, even though that has quick attack. That's that's an extremely slow card. Eight mana, yeah, ah, uh, this is probably like a four though. I mean, plus two attack and quick attack on any minion. It's pretty great, surely. Surely. Four? Yeah, final answer? Four? Yeah, 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 I'm going for it. All right, you rated every, this was the last weapon, by the way, that I'm showing you. You rated all of them four stars. You haven't been right about one because this is five stars. <laughs> <laughs> this card, like, it's in a worse region, but it's as good as the Darken Eggs. Last expansion, this card came out, and that was before Aatrox was released, and people would play Demacia plus Piltover just for this card. This card isn't great in Piltover because they don't really have units that want to attack, but now that we have Aatrox that can just let you play all the weapons, this card carries the entire deck. You have Challenger with Scout, you put plus two attack Wait. and quick attack on it, you just remove two units for free. You baited me. You said you said the other one's a five and it's the best one. How could this one also be a five? This is this in a worse region. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, yeah. If it was out of 10, I guess the X would be 10 because it's in like the best region. They can make the best use of it. This would be like a nine just because you can splash it. and But it doesn't do right, much right. for Piltover and Zon itself. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Okay, well, you know, 
but did uh, I actually write all of them for it? I yeah, you think did. I did actually. <laughs> Shit. All right, get baited. Here's the next one. <laughs> Okay, uh, Spirits Unleashed. All right, finally something that's not a weapon. Five mana for a slow spell in Freljord. Grant allies everywhere, plus one, plus one, then deal one damage to everything. This is hot garbage. There's a Hearthstone card almost just like this, and it feels like it's unplayable, and it's one mana cheaper. Uh, unplayable. How many stars were on? One. Negative one? two. <laughs> Okay, so fun story actually. This is Udyr's champion spell. It got buffed. It used to say grant all allies plus one plus one, so not everywhere, and then deal one to everything. So right now when you play this card, everything in your hand, in your deck, and on the board gets plus one plus one. Um, right. This is probably one of the best cards that Freljord has, but it's still like unplayable because you, there's just yes. nothing Freljord really wants you to do. You should be uh, you should be on uh, what's that like Family Feud or some shit. Like the way that you just presented that it was like a double whammy. I thought I was gonna be wrong, and then you're like, oh. Oh, you might be right. <laughs> oh fuck! I had a heart attack over here. I, I need to get like I, I don't know the name of the guy. I need to get like his facial expressions down. Uh, I rated this one two stars because it is very good. It's just not really usable anywhere. There's a lot of really fun meme decks that basically are carried by this deck. I don't know if you remember Nora uh, that summons portals and sometimes those memes get shuffled yeah, onto yeah. the board. If you play this, every single card that comes from a portal gets plus one plus one, and that's really good. So oh, this invigorating is a, sermon. This is the this is the context for this card. It doesn't uh, do one damage to everything, and it feels like at four mana, it's it's miserable. The problem with this effect is if I'm spending four mana to do this in a deck that cares about having stats on board, I don't want to spend four mana to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes and sense. And I would imagine I imagine that at five mana and it's a slow spell, it's even worse. Yeah. Uh, Ruin Terra oh. works differently than that, though, for sure, because it goes everywhere. I believe this doesn't give it to like your silver hand recruits, right? This is from Paladin. Your one ones are still one ones. You don't get it for anything that you would summon after this is played, but anything that's in your hand, deck or battlefield gets plus one plus one, which is, I think, the, the same wording as Ruin Terra, right? Unless unless this is though yours is like an aura that counts for summons after, yeah. which Hearthstone does not. That's the yeah. difference, I guess. It also deals one to Nexus, deals one to the board, which can actually make a really big difference. Sometimes it's just like a board clear as well, and you just get a value for the rest of the game. If Freljord was a better region and there was an actual deck that could use this well, it would easily be like a four or five star card, but there just isn't one. Maybe in the future. Let's go. Let's go. All right. <laughs> the Black Flame Landmark. Two mana for Ionia. Capture an ally. What does that mean? Capture means it literally takes the unit, it takes the ally and puts it inside that landmark. So if this landmark gets destroyed, you get the ally back. When you attack for the first time each round, summon a female copy of it attacking. Whoa, okay. God, that's such a cool card, but I feel like that's so garbage. No, it can't be bad. It's not garbage, but I don't know if it's good. It's summer. Mm. See, the thing is, do you want to play this on turn two? Probably not. This is a card that you probably want to play a little bit later in the game. So you get a minion that's pretty spicy. Oh God, dude, this is hard. That's a hard card to evaluate in heart. Okay, from a Hearthstone perspective, who mana to get this effect? every single turn but you have to be attacking so if you if you don't attack this card is absolutely useless uh yeah yeah this nothing. card's like i i give like a, a two a two it's probably a, in theory it's really it sounds really good but it's probably not great in practice it's it seems because like if i put this on turn two that means i'm getting a minion that is not great for the most part that i don't really want to summon a copy of even though it's like endless value i don't think in the grand scheme of a rune terror no because if, if you put this in an aggro deck i feel like it's too slow if you don't have a minion on board it doesn't do anything then you would have to keep you keep this card no i think there's like a two no it, it seems slow. okay uh two weeks ago we had the world championship in Rune Terra. Right, right. And there was one player that actually innovated an existing landmark deck, put in the Black Flame, and won. Won the World Championship. Won $40,000 because of Black Flame. He won every single game with this deck. That when it, and, and in the World Championship, it got banned. Like, people had to ban it because they were so afraid of the Black Flame. It's, there are so many small synergies. Uh, you've probably seen Zed. I think he played a bit of Rune Terra. He's like the 3-2 the that summons a shout that's another 3-2. If you capture Zed, every single time you're attacking, you get two 3-2s also attacking with you. There are ways to attack on the opponent's turn in Ionia. Very good ones, in fact, that make this card absolutely busted. But it hasn't been fully figured out yet. Even the, the deck that world won, won the World Championship is like not great in the meta because it kind of loses to Aatrox decks. But the, the card itself is quite insane. I gave it four stars because of the way it, it is in the meta right now, but the future potential for this card is limitless. So first of all, two things. What did you have that written down? Were you ready just to berate me with all that information? Yeah, like you're yeah. a fucking idiot? What the fuck? Raran, so I've been on your channel for six months. I, I am ready to finally stick it to you instead. <laughs> 
Wait, hold on. You've done it. Wait, okay. Regardless, hold on. Now, I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna discredit the the world champion. Um, mm. that's really cool. Congratulations to him using a card like this. But is it was it good in the world champion? Yes. Because no no card. Let me finish my sentence, please. Thank you so much. Was it that good in the world championship? Because no one thought it was playable before that. I mean, so okay. No one was prepared for it. In the World Championship, people, the players, the top 16, got access to the new expansion a week before it came out. So the World Championship oh, was playing a new patch. So yeah, okay, I should I should have said that. But this card just came out, and he was the only one that saw how busted this card actually was. He was the only one that brought it. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Close to close. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> this is hard, man. Yeah, it is, like it is. I don't like being on this side of it. I don't like being on this side. <laughs> What the hell is this? Zulani, the Bloodweaver? Zulani, whatever. Seven mana two, two. Wait, seven mana two, two. I have plus two in Overwhelm. I have plus two, plus two for each ally that died with its power increase. Empowered 16, transform me into the Aspects Bane. What the hell is this? This is also Ionia. Targon. Okay, the base of Tar. <laughs> all... How dare you? Um. Okay, hold on. I have plus two, plus two for each ally that died with its power increase. So this is a big meatball with overwhelm. This is this is what this is. What is the upgraded thing? Attack, transform, attacking non-darken followers into exact copies of me. Oh my god. I mean, okay. This reminds me of Mr. Annika, Annika, in the sense that it's it's probably gonna win you the game if it attacks. Does did Annika have overwhelm too? He did not. Okay, so the overwhelm aspect is what this is. More spicy. It's also a mana cheaper. If you don't level it up, though, it's just a big meatball. But it does have overwhelm. I mean, this is probably like a three, maybe a two. Oh God, it's so hard to evaluate this card. Oh, the thing is, if you have one non-darkened follower that's attacking, this is this is absolutely correct. Because then there's two of them. It is probably a three. I'm gonna give it a three. It can't okay. be really good, but it can also just not be doing anything. I, I gave this no, one two stars. Okay, so close, close. Yeah, I I originally. When I did my star ratings for the expansion, I rated it three stars as well. But it turns out that leveling her and getting her to that 16 empowered is actually really hard. You need to build your deck in a super specific way. When you're doing that, you're running into the same problem with Kill, where it's like, oh, I already have like a three mana elusive that's just winning me the game. Why do I need Zolani? Yeah, see, it's hard to uh, hard to evaluate a card like this from a Hearthstone's perspective, just because I don't like Overwhelm's not in Hearthstone, right? So yeah. I'm I'm. Every time I see the word overwhelm, I'm like, oh, like that's actually really, really good just because mm -hmm. your opponent just can't block this straight up, right? It's hard to translate that over because if this becomes a 1414, you don't even have to get the empowered effect. If they if they can't answer this, you just probably win the game because it's so much damage to your opponent's nexus. Yep, that's true. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right. I have the final card for you here. I will say there are more cards that make this Runa's Acolyte. This is not the only card. You can also main deck this card. Okay. Acolyte's Reliquary. One mana for... I got this. Uh, Shurima. When I'm summoned, a Runa's Acolyte in hand. When you destroy me, create an Acolyte's Reliquary in the top five cards of your deck. Okay. So this is technically infinite. Uh, well, I guess it is infinite. Let's say, I, I, I guess they don't ever stop the effect, right? Uh, no. Impossible. Okay. Unless you shuffle your deck. Uh, so a Runa's Acolyte is a two mana two one fearsome unit play destroy an allied landmark to grant allied runas acolytes ever plus one plus one <laughs> okay <laughs> all right uh <laughs> how many how many cards summon this you have the three followers the runas acolytes that you could put in your deck and then you have three more one mana spells that make either runas acolyte or a different landmark that gives like plus two attack or something so technically nine different cards that make runas acolytes okay um, but acolytes reliquary the landmark that i'm showing here goes infinite so there are technically more than nine yeah but the thing is it's like how relevant is infinite runas acolytes i guess because not only do you have to start buffing them up like if you don't have an allied landmark you this card's absolutely garbage i mean you always like, have it because you play the one mana landmark and it gives you the runes acolyte so you kind of always have something to destroy right but then you have so if i'm playing this card for a plus one plus one buff once and then hopefully i draw it again like that's the logic behind it right it feels snowbally but like this feels like a card like if i had this in hearthstone right mm -hmm. i wouldn't play this deck it's too slow this is too slow it doesn't build up fast enough but again like fucking rune terra apparently like i'm stupid so maybe i should just go with what no it's i'm gonna give like a one i'm gonna one or two rune is acolytes i i'm not sure if, if this is clear it gives them plus one plus one everywhere so the next rune is acolyte you will play after the first one Oh, be a three dude, two, I, and then a four so three. Then a four. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I keep going with the Hearthstone brain that like the card has to be already generated or in your deck in order for it to get the buff. Because otherwise, every single type of card says everywhere in Hearthstone, the card has to be like live in the game, mm, not okay. summoned. Yeah. So that's that's something that 
tricks me up. Um, okay, so it's not a two anymore. I'd give it like a three, maybe a four actually. The thing is, is like, if you get this on curve, if you go one into two, that's pretty gross because then you start to snowball early. How many of these reliquary landmarks can you put in your deck? Three? Three, yeah. And is there any other way to generate the reliquaries? You can copy landmarks too, right? Yeah, with Talia. Ooh. <laughs> No, I'll give it like a three. I actually, you know what? Like I'm still leaning towards a two, but I'll give it a three. I okay. still think this is not good enough. When I did my star rating, I also gave this like a one, one star. Uh, turns out this was a tier zero card. It had to be immediately hot nerfed. Wait, is this the hot? Is this the hot fix version or the? No, no, no. This is the, this is the live. This is the version that they printed during the expansion. One week later, it became two mana. Oh, what the fuck? It was a five star card. It was, it was miserable to play against because what happens is they play this landmark on turn one. They play the rune as Acolyte on it on turn two, and then you have a three, two fearsome. The next time they draw the landmark, they play it, and then they play another rune as Acolyte. The first one that you played immediately turns into a four, three, and the new one you played is also a four, three with fearsome. On turn five or six, you literally had like seven, an army of seven, six fearsomes that would just beat you down. It was the most brain dead deck that just had big stats and there was nothing you could do about it. At two mana, it makes it a lot more awkward to play the Runa's Acolytes and actually get them going consistently. So at two mana, yeah, if, uh, like it's it, it was a big nerf. Now it's like, yeah, I think <laughs> if it was two mana and I gave you this card, it'd be like a three star card. Yeah, but at one mana, so, it was five stars. You know what I'm learning here? Uh -huh. is it's a lot easier to evaluate champions than it is individual cards in Runeterra. Champions, yeah. because they build archetypes on their own, you can see what an archetype is going to be, right? Mm -hmm. In my mind, this would be too slow in Hearthstone, like the ability to play a landmark into your thing. Because, yeah, you get plus one, plus one, but like it's that's probably not going to win you the game unless you get like the turbo nuts curve. Tier zero for this? Holy yeah. smoly, dude. That's uh, fuck. But <laughs> <laughs> I got like one in eight. <laughs> All right, here you go. Here's God. the scores. This, uh, oh, no. Yeah, it's me on the left, you on the right. Oh, I really want a four, 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 four. Okay. Uh, dark, We're resistant. Dark, dark, dark and eight. Yeah, I uh, got. I felt like every single weapon was playable. It's very interesting. I can't believe the darkened staff is a one. <laughs> I mean, okay. You know what? I'm gonna give myself some credit here. I'm gonna give my. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna cope my way through this at the end. Okay, listen. I'm one point off from three of these weapons. I'm pretty happy about that. I think you're coping on the darkened staff. I think you're wrong. I think I'm right. <laughs> so we'll, we'll just, we'll give me that point too. Spirit, Spirit Unleash. <laughs> what card was that? Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, okay. That one was, I mean, sure. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, okay. You give it a two, I give it a one. I was focusing more on the Hearthstone aspect, but yeah, that's fair. Black Flame, I still can't believe that card's absolutely nuts. Mm -hmm. um, what did you evaluate that before the World Championship? Did you give it a one? You give it a zero? Mm, no, I gave it five stars before the World Championship, actually. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah. I was gonna comb my way through that. No, no shot. Uh, Zulani. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. We're pretty glad. We're one point off. Okay. I mean, I mean, I could, I could have done worse. You know, I could have done worse. I think. Uh, I think is is the coping working? Like, do you feel like I did a good job now? Or I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll cope with you a little bit. I'll be completely honest. A lot of these ratings that you had were very similar to my initial ratings when, like, before right. I played with the card. So I'll give you some credit, but still, you didn't get a single one right, Raran. So maybe Dude, next time. Yeah, huh? but hold on, hold on. The video that we recorded before this, what happened, mm -hmm. Sonny? What happened? Uh, yeah, you 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 got all three champions right. Okay. All right. So, it's, you know, you take, you win some, you lose some. It's, it's that's fine. That's fine. I don't care. You know what? I don't have to read the comments on this video. I'm not going to your video. Are you insane? I'm not reading this. I'm gonna get roasted. But I'll read the comments on my video, and then be like, "Damn, rare, it's so smart." And then it's like, "Oh, this video never happened." I'll make some notes again. Next time we go into a call together to record a video, I'll read them to you. That's fine. I'll I'll take the spiciest ones. What the fuck? You're just. <laughs> I can't wait to enter a call with you and you just be like, okay, listen, hold on. I got to shit talk to you for a second. It's going to be, I can't wait.